What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over keyword match types in Google Ads and the different keyword match types you can target and exactly how they work. So the three different keyword match types are broad match, phrase match, and exact match. This is a graphic directly from Google's website, so I'm pulling the exact example they give us when we are targeting these different keyword match types. Now the way that I look at it is broad match keywords are going to give you more volume and less relevance and exact match keywords are going to give you less volume and more relevance based on what people are typing in depending on the type of keyword that you're targeting. So if you're targeting a broad match keyword, for example, the broad match keyword lawn mowing service. So what's going to happen is if you're targeting this keyword in your Google ads campaigns, your ads may show on searches that relate to your keyword. I'm gonna give you some exact examples from my Google Ads campaign, that will be the next step. But for right now, someone who types in lawn aeration prices, if you're targeting the broad match keyword of lawn mowing service, your ad might show. So it's not necessarily the most relevant search term because it's someone looking for something completely different and they're just looking for prices right now. Now for phrase match, it says ads may show on searches that include the meaning of your keyword. So phrase match to me is my favorite keyword match type and it's usually what I start my campaigns with. I think broad match is best for advertisers with large budget budgets who aren't overly concerned with maybe wasting a little bit of their money as they are testing some of these different keywords. Phrase match keywords are gonna give you the best targeting and the best amount of volume so you're not kind of limited with what exact match will give you. So if you're targeting the phrase match keyword of lawn mowing service, you're Ads may show for searches like lawn mowing service near me, hire company to mow lawn, or landscaping service to cut grass. Essentially, they all mean the same exact thing. They're just different ways that people type them into Google, and Google is smart enough to understand that if we're targeting this phrase match keyword, these are all relevant search terms. Now, exact match keyword is ads may show on searches that are the same meaning as your keyword. So somebody who might go in and search grass cutting service that might show for your ad for lawn mowing service. Now, the way that you wanna look at it is you should only target one match type. If you only want your ads to show for the most relevant search terms than people are typing in to Google, then you wanna use exact match keywords in your targeting. If you wanna open it up a little bit more, you want a little bit more volume, a little bit less relevance, then you wanna use phrase match keywords. And if you wanna keep it wide open, then what you wanna do is use broad match keywords, but there's no reason to target multiple match types in the same ad group, so choose one match type. Now, you can use different match types across your campaign, but just to show you an example here, so I created a campaign for farmhouse goals and I did this just as an example. I had three separate ad groups. I ran them all separately on different days over the past two weeks, and you can see I have farmhouse curtains phrase match, farmhouse curtains broad match, and farmhouse curtains exact match. The only keyword I targeted in each ad group, so you're gonna see the keyword over here, the ad group over here, is farmhouse curtains. So a phrase match keyword will have quotes around the keyword here, so you can see the two quotes. A broad match keyword has no indicators at all, and an exact match key keyword has brackets. Now within your ad groups, you could just click on the drop down right here, choose a different match type, it will add the quotes for you. I don't wanna do that for right now, but just to show you how easy it is to adjust the keywords that you're targeting. Now, if you do click on the plus sign here to add new keywords, and let's just say we go into our broad match keyword ad group, if we're targeting something like farmhouse kitchen curtains, if we keep it just like this and we click on save, it's gonna be a broad match keyword. If we surround it with quotes, so we put quotes around the entire keyword, and we come down and we click on save here, then it's gonna be a phrase match keyword, and then if we put brackets around the keywords, then it's gonna be an exact match keyword, and we'd click on save. Now, one thing I wanna show you is it's gonna say, your campaign is using smart bidding, use broad match to get more conversions at a better or similar return on investment. So if we come down here and we scroll over, you can see I'm using conversion tracking for my campaign, so it's actually taking so Google Ads actually has a complete understanding for how well my campaign is performing because it knows every time I'm driving a conversion on my website. So you absolutely wanna use conversion tracking and you wanna use smart bidding strategies like target CPA, like maximize conversions. So what's gonna happen over time is if you do target broad match keywords, your campaign is gonna test and test and test and ultimately what Google Ads is gonna do is say, okay, here are the keywords 
that perform the best for this advertiser. The same thing is going to happen with phrase match as well and with exact match too. So if you want to go through more of a testing period, there's nothing wrong with targeting broad match keywords, but I'm going to show you in a minute why I prefer to target phrase match keywords. And that's because in the search terms report, we can see exactly what search terms people typed in to see our advertisements. So let's start with exact match because this is going to be the closest in terms of the search terms people are typing in and the exact match keyword of farmhouse curtains. So when I clicked on search terms for the last 14 days, if we scroll to the bottom, it only had a total of 13 search terms that actually triggered our advertisements. So you can see here, they're all very relevant keyword. Most of them include farmhouse or farm or something similar, and then curtains, farmhouse curtains, farmhouse style curtains. We come to the bottom, farmhouse drapery, so a little bit different, but really the same search intent ultimately. So if you're using exact match keywords, you're gonna get very close search terms for the keyword you're targeting. And for the most part, you can see our clicks came in when people actually typed in farmhouse curtains. Now coming back over to our ad groups, let's go to phrase match next. So if we click on phrase match and we come down here to search terms, so you can see we're just targeting this phrase match keyword and we click on search terms, let's scroll to the bottom. So this gave me a total of 222 keywords. So obviously it opens it up a lot more. It also helped that I ran this ad group for the longest amount of time. So I did get a little bit more activity here, but if we look at all of these different keywords, Wayfair, farmhouse keyword, farmhouse curtains, linen, farmhouse curtains. So pretty much every single search term is going to contain farmhouse curtains. And the key with phrase match keywords is to make sure you're using negative keywords as well. That's the same with broad match keywords too. So if we come up to the top here and we'll look at what the most popular keywords are. So farmhouse curtains, just the main keyword is the most popular, but for the most part, all of these keywords at the very top are very relevant to farmhouse curtains. So for example, if someone goes to Google and they're typing in farmhouse curtains for a living room, that is a perfectly good search term that I would want to target with my advertisement because I'm sending people to this page here that has a bunch of different farmhouse curtains for sale. So they can easily find exactly what they're looking for. So when we look at our search terms report, you really want to make sure that it's matching with the keywords you're targeting. Now, last but not least, let's go to broad match and then I'll actually show you a list of keywords that I pulled out from each of the search terms report. So we'll come over to our ad groups and come to broad match here. So you can see here we have farmhouse curtains, the broad match keyword. If we go to search terms and we're going to look at the top search terms by impressions, the number two keyword here is bedroom curtain curtains and drapes. To me, that's just not a keyword that I would want to target. If we keep coming down here, country curtains, outlet curtains, Canada. So there's a bunch of different search terms here that I really wouldn't want to target because somebody searching curtains Canada or cheap curtains Canada, if they click on my advertisement and they come to my farmhouse curtains page, they might be like, this is not what I'm looking for. I want to go back to Google and I want to keep searching. And these people are going to be less likely to convert based on their search terms than somebody who's typing in something like country curtains for my living room or rustic curtains for my living room. So with phrase match keywords, you're able to expand on some of the different search terms that people are typing in without kind of giving up some of that relevancy that broad match kind of takes away from you. So the other thing we can do is let's just say we have curtains Canada here, cheap curtains Canada. I can click on these keywords in my search terms report and add them as a negative keyword. We can add them at the ad group level to the campaign level or to a negative keyword list. What I would recommend doing is adding it to the campaign level. So generally what I'll do in this scenario is I will just take the word Canada and add that as a negative broad match keyword. So that means that any search term that includes the word Canada will not show up for my campaign. So if we click on save here and we come back to our search terms, now curtains Canada would be removed, cheap curtains Canada, that would be removed. So all of these different search terms that were triggering my advertisements would actually be removed altogether from my campaign. And all you need to do is add negative keywords as a broad match type, and it will remove any search terms that include that word in it. So I could also come in here and enter cheap. I could do something like Nova Scotia here, for example. So this keyword right here, curtains, Nova Scotia, home, indoor. So if somebody goes to Google and they're searching that, I don't want my advertisement for farmhouse curtains showing up. I'd rather just target keywords related to farmhouse curtains. 
not things that are unrelated, that are very broad, that people aren't gonna be as likely to purchase from my website. Now, the last thing I wanna go over is looking at some actual search terms that showed up in each of these different ad groups. So we had the broad match ad group where I targeted farmhouse curtains. We had the phrase match ad group where I targeted farmhouse curtains with quotes around it. And then the exact match ad group where I targeted the farmhouse curtains exact match keyword. So if we look through here, some of the things in broad match, curtains Canada, country curtains outlet, barn door curtains, gray pattern curtains, drop cloth curtains. So a lot of these, so sweet home collection window tier, the one I went over before, curtains Nova Scotia home and door. All of these search terms, I would not wanna target with my ads. So if you are using smart bidding and you are targeting a broad match keyword, over time, if those search terms aren't driving conversions, then Google Ads will automatically stop targeting them. But just from my experience with Google Ads, I prefer to target the phrase match keywords because you can see all of these here are very relevant keywords. Farmhouse laundry room curtains, vintage, blue, shabby chic, white, country home curtains, modern farmhouse curtains, farmhouse curtain ideas. And then if you are targeting phrase match keywords, you also get a bunch of keyword ideas for your own website. So I can come in here and say, okay, let me make sure that I'm targeting some of these different keywords and I have specific places on my website where people can find white farmhouse curtains or blue farmhouse curtains or some of these different styles that people are looking up regularly. Now, last but not least, coming over here to exact match. So with exact match, you can see it's all very, very relevant. Everything here is pretty much farmhouse curtains or a close synonym. The only one that was a little bit different really was farmhouse drapery. But with exact match, you still get a good amount of search volume. It doesn't have to completely match your keyword. But I just wanted to kind of give you some insight into how these different keyword match types work, how to actually target them through Google Ads, understanding that you need to put quotes around your phrase match keywords and brackets around your exact match keywords. Now, if you're using smart bidding, you definitely want to use broad match or phrase match. I would say if you don't have a large, massive budget, then I would go with phrase match. If you're working with an advertiser that basically has an unlimited budget, then what you want to do is use broad match keywords. That's not always really the case. And then exact match can be really more, more worthwhile if you're trying to keep things as tight and as targeted as possible. So if you have any questions about keyword match types in Google ads, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.